I'm not going to talk very long at all. I know that's uh, that's very special for me. We get our chance to say something. Every, every talk to Hayden about that. Uh, this is not we, my. We can talk to Hayden about that. We, we've got a right to say something. We've got to say something. You, have you are uh, concerned of what we're concerned about? Come, you can speak to me. My everybody can come talk to me after this. Not my event. You can talk to Hayden if you've got something that you want to address publicly. But what I'm uh, one thing I want to I want to just bring up today that demonstrates and highlights the issue, the core issue, is what happened, what we saw this week. This week we saw a young thug, an immigrant thug, that kicked a senior sergeant in the face. He was out on bail at the time, kicked, so essentially bashed a Victoria police member, the people that risk their lives day to day to be on the front line to defend us. He got kicked in the face and then when he fronted the court got 12 months probation. Disgusting. That is the problem ladies and gentlemen. That is the issue. Our, our state, Victoria, the so-called most livable city in the world has become the crime capital of Australia. And we refuse to let it continue. And what's important, ladies and gentlemen, because we see, look, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that so many people, and good on you for coming out today, but people are genu genuinely scared to come and protest because all too often when you have a peaceful group such as ourselves who come and just want to have their say in the state of Victoria there's a group of tolerant lefties that come out with violence and we've seen it time and time again so today I received personally this is not my event but I received personally a lot of messages of people that are just simply too scared they're saying are the I support what you're saying, I support what you're doing, I stand against the violence in Victoria. I may not agree with all your opinions, but our state has gone, our state has gone to shit, but I'm just simply too scared to come out. And that's, that's the reality in Victoria. We have, we have youth crime games, and we also do not have the right to freedom of speech because, again, violence has taken over our streets. And in November, we need to change that. And you need to keep talking, you need to keep standing up, whether it's online or in person. Every single person you know, you need to keep pushing the message. Because, for example, yesterday, The Age published an article that tries to play down the facts what Donald Trump will call fake news, pushing the labour agenda, in which they say, oh no, there's actually the, the crime stats, if you look at the, uh, the overall crime stats, are actually going down. Well, the fact is, no. In the last six months, petty crime has gone down. But, violent crime, the crime that we are all standing here protesting is up. It's way up. It's about 20% up in general and in some communities like the South Sudanese community, it's up by 40%. It's not racist to say that, it's just factual. And we need our media, all the media, not just the Herald Sun, we need even the age to just report the facts. I'll leave it there guys, but good on you, thank you very much for coming out today and showing Daniel Andrews that we're not going to take this line down. We're Australian. We're all proud of our state. We love being here. We love living here. And we're not going to let anybody take that away from us. Yeah. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.